And with me, I have Dexter. Hey, what's good, guys? There he is. <laughs> so, um, today, uh, I have something really cool to show you guys. So, here at Crafter Studios, we've been taking the last, really, the last few months to um, really upgrade our internal processes. And a part of that is optimizing the amount of tools that we use and um, how we use other tools. One of the things that it was like our final challenge, which is now been solved was project management now we were first using you know notion and and then now we're using clickup and hey clickup is much you know has been much better to us um very organized but it's still been sort of difficult um you know managing uh you know managing those projects uh, that require you know just a, a little bit m more and on top of that we've noticed that we spend a lot of time in unnecessary sinks you know or for those of you who are uh, less familiar but basically um, video calls basically you know uh, with the client you know and their team and then it's you and you know you guys are talking about whatever it is uh, that's on the agenda and Dexter how many meetings would you say about a like about a week on average that we uh spend in unnecessary sinks yeah i would say unnecessarily easily you know three you know three you know two to three and Unne unnecessary though you know i think um you know meetings are fine but when it comes to just hey you know update us on this or hey you know what's, what's going on i think those updates you know um, they do take a lot of time, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. And then it's not really the time that's the issue, right? Like sometimes it's just you're, you're locked in, you're focused, and then all of a sudden you have a sink and then you're throwing off. Um, and so, yeah, you know, just managing that, it, it does take a lot of time. Yeah, and another thing with that is like, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, it's just the client rambling. Uh, you know, as much as you, uh, you hate to see it, but... Um, yeah, your yeah. client is, yeah, it's just rambling and, and going on. You're like, uh, and then you're at the end of the meeting, and me and Dexter, this happens, this happens to me and Dexter without fail after every one of these unnecessary meetings. Like, man, we could have been out so much earlier. They could have been like, hey, give us, we'll give you like 20 minutes back or something. And, but no, the client wants to ramble and, you know, yeah, they want to yeah. plan amongst themselves. Yeah, and let's do this, guys, and let's do this. You know, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. And, the, and the crazy thing is, let me to cut you off, Chris, this is your video. Uh, but, you know, and, and really, you know, it's like sometimes they come up with more things to do, you know, and uh, part of the tool I think that you're going to talk about in a second is kind of like managing um, expectations and really calming down a lot of that noise from their side. Um, because if you let them ramble long enough, they're going to say, oh, yeah, we should create a whole nother page for this. And next thing you know, you have to deal with that situation. Um, yeah. And that prolongs the project. So, yeah, especially yeah, these if tools, you got to you know, add on, yeah. you know, to the to the scope and, you know, have to wait for them to get approval to, you know, uh, spend more money toward, you know, towards your project. Yeah. And yes, and part of the thing uh, that I want to talk about is, yeah, I told you guys in the for in the tweet, uh, for those of you who came and uh, are seeing this video from Twitter, uh, my hidden uh, skill. So I am sort of like the problem solver here at Crafted Studios. You know, I'd like to see, you know, how we can do things much better and much more efficiently. Therefore, as you see in front of you, we have the crafted client portal this basically allows both like our fellow team members and our clients to see everything about the project so whether it be you know um, you know updates whether it be like financial statuses um, screenshots you know or you know did they just want to make like a, a comment this is our solution 
to cutting out all that unnecessary, like Dexter said, that noise. So I want to kind of take you in here and I'm going to log in to my side, which there isn't too much of a difference between our side and the client side. At the moment, this is sort of uh, basically, you know, sort of like the beta for us. in here and I'll sign in my account so here um, you see when someone logs in they have their uh, basically their dashboard which is just uh, an overview of all of the projects that you know a client would have or a team member has um, assigned to them so you know, they just basically on this page are just saying, hey, this, you know, the name of the pro what project it is, you know, what's the progress and, you know, like where we are as far as like, you know, where we were in design development or, you know, the project hasn't started yet for some reason. So if I click into a project, as I told you, you know, they can see what stage it's in, you know, things like that. Um, financial status, which is actually a big one because when you're working with some of these larger clients, I I notice is that you have to kind of, you know, keep reminding them sometimes that, hey, you know, that invoice has to be paid before this happens or, you know, oh, you know, hey, this is now done. We're going to, you know, need you guys to pay the invoice or, you know, and a lot of these guys, they have their financial teams and, you know, it's it can be a headache sometimes. So, you know, this kind of helps them also say, oh, right, we need to, you know, contact the financial team um, or better yet, some clients, you know, have sent a payment and, you know, they just, we just haven't, you know, seen it yet or because, you know, we're not always in our payment processor, uh, you know, 24-7. So client, you know, this will be like, hey, so they can say, hey, we paid the invoice, by the way, or something like that. They can also see the budget because sometimes you know clients you know um, are only like allowed it you know uh, whatever work is that you know whatever work that that budget will get them so they can see okay we're already spending this much how much more are we you know where we can reasonably be spending you know what can we uh, get out of that so again um, they see you know comments you know this is uh, just some test comments between me and Dexter here. Uh, so yeah, people can you know write something in, hit submit, and you know their comment will uh, be appeared. And you know that was, you know that's you know useful because hey, you don't have you know emails or or sort of cut out you know unnecessary you know Slack pings because oh I I know that uh, I know I'm not sure but I'm I. I paid it. I don't know much uh, about if Dexter prefers that, but I, I hate you know Slack pings. You know twenty you know twenty four hours a day, and then it's just like the very very smallest thing. Yeah, seriously, uh, that's one thing I don't like either. You know, just constant distractions like that. So, and then over here, the last thing with this is that we have um, like basically the screenshot section you know and we also have like a, and I'll take you guys over here we have like a, you know page where someone can upload a, a screenshot so if I choose a file here um, let's say I wanted to you know have like a pie chart and I'll open this up they can say okay a pie chart or something you know let's say um, that's you know particularly useful you know you just want to show a client an update and like oh here's what this page looks like or this is what this looks like you know, uh, they can sort of click into here, and then you know they can you know go to a page and see. Oh, okay, this is now what this looks like here. And then you know, lastly, we have the account page. Um, you know, people can see that their you know basic information. Uh, we want to really keep this. We could have gone more into detail and, you know, did more if we 
uh, asked for more information on sign up and things like that. But for now, we really think, you know, it's all about simplicity and just keeping it to, uh, you know, bare minimal. So, you know, I can go in here and, you know, if I want my full name in here or something, I can just go ahead and, uh, you know, do that. Confirm my password. And then I can save changes and then boom, it changes right away. Also, update your password and, you know, just as sort of the same dubitary. Um, nothing big and then, you know, cancel if I want to close it. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, basically it as far as like the actual application itself. And so, as you probably figured and you by seeing this little, uh, this little tag right here, my hidden skill is bubble development. Yeah, it's something that I have actually been, you know, focused on learning for months. You know, there's still things I have to learn. I don't think uh, no one can truly know everything, how to do everything in Bubble uh, without years and, you know, years of experience uh, with it. But um, I got it to where, you know, I have where I'm, hmm, how do I say this? Where I can, you know, do client work I'm at that's the skill level I'm at now so again you know uh, let's see if this will cooperate nicely um, you can see that it is responsive and this is using the new bubble responsive engine and I'll go back to the dashboard page because we want to be slow Huh. That's strange. Link. I forgot to put a link in because I didn't want to use a reusable element just yet. But you can see all the pages respond nicely. And then, yeah, so that is, you know, uh, again. You know everything that we've sort of been up to as of like getting into 2022 here um, a lot of more exciting things are coming from Crafty Studios this is just the beginning that being said I want to thank you for taking time to for joining us here today and on behalf of Craft Studios team Dexter and I would like to wish you guys a very happy new year Peace.